So Gareth, uh, fantastic congratulations on this, uh, this honour from the Football Writers Association. You see a, an amazing array of previous winners, some of the greats of the game, but you're very keen to stress it's not just about you. No, absolutely. I think um, when you're involved as a manager, um, you're relying on having players that can uh, do the job on the pitch. Um, the team that work with you, the support team around you is hugely important. And uh, I have a great coaching staff with me. Um, I have a very good support team uh, uh, around that. And, um, you know, the, the enjoyment and um, the improvement that we showed in the summer was because of all of those people. So I was the one that had the fortune to lead it and the privilege to lead it. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's important to acknowledge everybody's role in that. Um, and also, you know, tribute sounds a bit final. You know, we have a, lo <laughs> we have a lot of uh, work ahead of us and a lot of improvement that we believe we can make. So um, it's lovely to be recognised um, equally. Um, I'm looking forward to the end of uh, patting ourselves on the back for last summer and, and moving forward. But just going back to last summer, I mean, it wasn't just about what the team achieved on the field. There was a huge amount of it in, a, in a, a time of some division in the country. There seemed to be a love for the England team once again. That must have been hugely satisfying for you. I think it's been um, the, the most pleasurable thing coming back um, because people stop you in the street um, from all sections of society and um, that's hugely rewarding to know that we made a difference to how people felt um, that people did connect back with the team um, we knew there had been a disconnect but I never believed that um, when people said they didn't care about international football I didn't believe that was the case I just felt people had been hurt over a, a period of time so um, so for us to play in a way that engaged people and uh, that people enjoyed watching us work, um, as, you, as you say, at a difficult time for us as a country was hugely important. And of course now going forward, you qualified for the Nations League, which is really important, wasn't it, to, to end the year on a high and to have something to look forward to this summer. How, how important can that tournament be as another step and another learning process for this young team and you? Mm. Yeah, well it's already been... Um, very important for us because uh, you know one of the questions we had to answer coming on the back of the World Cup was could we could we start to win against the the top ranked teams and um, we started to do that you know Spain undefeated for such a long period of time and with a really young team um, we, we went there and got the win and then to beat Croatia and you know come through a really tense match that meant we we go to another semi final. Um, they're big matches that our players need to be involved in that will give us confidence moving forward um, and we now have another summer to look forward to where people have got um, the chance to get behind the team and see us in, in uh, big games that really count And it's a young team largely isn't it they, they're growing and, and developing in international football and domestically I mean Harry Wink scored today that must have pleased mm -hmm. you as well do you think they're going to be better come this summer? Yeah I think the players are improving the team have evolved and improved I think since since the end of the summer um, the challenge is that we don't have the players now for four months so we've got to get them back into the the groove of playing with us as quickly as possible um, but every other team has that same challenge and um, uh, I, I think the players understand very clearly how we want to play uh, the culture around the team and we have really good competition for places because some of the young players that are coming through are really exciting as well. So um, it is a hugely exciting period for English football. And obviously, as well as that, there's the under-21s coming up in the summer. Is that something you'll be watching with a close eye, looking at the, the emerging players as well? Yeah, definitely. We, you know, There are some of that squad who have been with us, have had you know, some game time with us. Um, we work very closely across all of the junior teams and it's important that... Uh, um, that we know exactly where the uh, the next group of players are coming from, and that will be a really good tournament for them. You know, it's tough to qualify for, and um, it's tough to progress through to the semi-finals of that tournament. Only only the group winners guaranteed to go through. So that jeopardy for them and that uh, performing under pressure is a, a really good building block to to being involved with the seniors.